What up, YouTube? It's your boy, B.B. Staz, and we're here back in NCAA 14. And, watching the last episode, a whole lot of stuff went down. Um, can't really spoil it. It was just mainly recruiting, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, today we will be playing LSU at LSU, and let's see what happens after that. Here we are. In Louisiana. He was playing the LSU Tigers. Well, that was first game as an offensive coordinator. Whew. Let's go. Uh, don't worry about the overalls. Overalls don't matter. We can pull off an upset, maybe. Here we are in Tiger Stadium. As we will be doing the coin floss toss. And we do get heads. And we will receive the kick. I know it may sound stupid here, but hey, who knows? And remember, we are an offensive coordinator, so we are only going to be seeing offensive side of the ball. So let's see what happens. Our defense stops LSU on the first drive. Wow. Here we go. Quarterback is ready. West is ready. Can't remember the names already. We will remember them as the series goes on. And he chucks one up. And no, Peter could not connect to Wilkins. Wow. Well, that was not the first play that we wanted to happen, but it, it's all okay. Yes, I understand that Peter is a little afraid here. It's all okay. He will get used to it sooner or less. As you're going to give it to our stud running back. And we got no blocking and Terrence can't go anywhere. Okay, with Terrence getting a gain of three on the last, on the last play, we need to really get a first down so this is not a quick three and out. As he tries to go to Terrence short, but that could have been an interception and Peter was 0 for 2 on the day. With receiving that quick three and out, LSU did capitalize, getting seven points on the last drive, and now we gotta, now we gotta respond. Here goes, they're sending a blitz. Terrence is wide open, out of the backfield. And Terrence gets to the 35-yard line. There we go. You go from our own 35-yard line. T Peter drops back, almost said Terrence, because we've been saying his name way too much. Those a crossbody pass and almost intercepted. Good grief. It's LSU secondary is legendary. They were not letting us go anywhere in the pass game, Willie. Really. We just got lucky on that last one so that they blitzed in, pick up Terrence. Yeah, so, who knows, as we will be giving the ball here to Terrence, though, as he does get the ball, once again, hardly any blocking for the guy and only gets four yards. I'm telling you, if we can get blocks for Terrence, he can go. We saw what he did there with barely any room there. To scramble, he got a decent four yards. Here we go, as we are winning a play-action pass, trying to fold them, didn't really fold them, Peter chucks a ball, and luckily it was incomplete. LSU goes back, scores another touchdown. So, I now we really need to put points up on the board so this will not be considered a blowout. Here we go. Man in motion. And Peter gets sacked. Offensive line not able to hold up the LSU's front line. Ay, ay, ay. This game is not going how we want it to go. As the fans in the stadium are ecstatic, loud all game since the first snap. That's really had us out of our game, but they do send a blitz and Peter was not able to get the ball out in time. But this has not really been our game. We've not been able to go anywhere on offense. Our passing game has been shut down. We got no blocking and Terrence just lost a yard. Here we go, LSU moving. We only have nine total yards of offense. That is sad. We need to get more than nine total yards. We've been losing way too much, and there we go. As I said, if we could just get Terrence West some blocks, he can get going, and that is what we saw right there. Good one, though, by Terrence. Hopefully, that can tell the offense, okay, we got to wake up. Terrence is doing his job. I need Peter to do his job, and I need the wide receivers to do their job. As Peter just not trying to whisk it, he will get the first down by using his legs. I see you, Peter. Here we go as we have the field spread out, and we're going to try to maybe confuse the defense here as we are going to be winning a quarterback draw, and 
Pedal breaks a tackle and gets five yards. Uh, guys, can you all get off him, please? Thank you. Here we go. Second and five. We are finally moving on this drive. As they look to be blitzing, Peter hits Wilkins. What a block, though, by Terrence and Wilkins. Spencer Wilkins gets 20 yards. That is huge. There you go, Peter. That is really good throw right there, bud. Just what we needed. Peter drops back and throws an interception. Oh, no, that may be a pick six. Come on, Pounder. Good job, Pounder, for at least stopping him. But come on, Peter. We had us a drive going on there. And you know what? This is not looking too good. Peter is only two for seven, I want to say. And it's, it's not really looking too good now. Can't really get anything going in the pass game. Just throw the ball out of bounds. Just don't get sacked at this point, Peter. Let's just at least fight for something. Hey, guys. We're going to be running four verticals again. Hope, hoping that somebody can get open. As he throws it in. Yep, that that's picked off once again. Okay, well, I guess LSU is establishing that this is a no-fly zone. Okay, I don't have a clue what is going on with the field here. Uh, I kind of like it. I don't know why. But let's just hand the ball off to Terrence West and hope for the best. Gaining three right there, not bad. As we're all going to be running the hurry up offense, trying to catch this team off guard, but I don't really think it's going to be happening anytime soon. If you just don't, it, you don't have to do all this, Beetle. Come on. What a pass, and what a catch by Terrence West, who breaks a tackle and then gets brought down immediately afterwards. But Terrence West, I am telling you, if we can get this kid moving, he can maybe just be our offense. We may just become the new Tennessee Titans of college football, just hand the ball off about every single down. You guys, we go right back to Terrence, who breaks another tackle. Good grief, Terrence West is a different man out there. As we do call a timeout, though, to save the time on the clock, so we can maybe get down, get down field quick, and hopefully put up a field goal. Here we go. As you have us a wide open man, as that's Spencer Wilkins, and he will just go on and get out of bounds so we can at least put points up on the board. Here we go. That last drive, we had stuff going. Let's keep that same energy. I don't care if we put up three points again. Three points, seven points, six points. I don't care. But Spencer, not Spencer, but Terrence West. Oh my gosh, they cannot stop this kid today. And, well, Peter got sacked. Couldn't really find, well, we was trying to find an open guy. Nobody could really get open. And that's what I get for looking downfield. Wasn't paying any attention to the pocket and we just get sacked. I know that this looks a little strange coming out here in this formation at this side of the field, but we're, we're kind of desperate, and we're just trying to get y'all to. And uh, if only West had a little bit more speed, could maybe got to the corner, cut up. That would have been good, but we did get gain of three, what is big, and now just got to hope and pray that we can get a first down. Offensive line's not been blocking the best today, but they have been blocking as they do blitz, and that blitz was all that they needed to just stop that play. As I think LSU did put up three points there. Not, not, not what we was hoping, but I mean, this is already a blowout game, so at this point we're just fighting, or at least trying to fight. As Peters is dropping back and almost throws another interception. 
I like how the commentator was just nagging Petal, like he can do any better. Like we're not facing a top five team for our first level game. Yeah, commentator, you were really helpful, bud. Oh, as there was an open man, Spencer Wilkins once again. Spencer can just always find a way to get open, and that is what I like to see there. Let's just go on and run the ball, be safe here. As they are going to be blitzing the guy, but that doesn't really matter. But if Alcino could just block. If he can just block one little guy. Well, I, he's not really little, but if he can just block him. Terrence can find a hole and just take off, but couldn't do that there. Looks like they are stacking a side of the line. Yeah, I don't really like that. Let's just audible to the other side. I mean, Terrence fought. Terrence fought. That's all it matters. Got three yards there. Nine rushes, 38 yards. Not really bad for the young man on the day. You guys, we're all going to be wanting a screen pass. Hopefully, catching them off guard. As we do have blocks for once today in this game. And Terrence is going to get the first down to keep the drive moving. But he does look to be injured though. Oh no. Maybe we worked him a little bit too much, but he is not in the game. We do have Jones in the game right now, and yeah, it's not looking too good. But, you know, we do hit Jones on the first play, and Jones does, he gets somewhere. What I like to see. Trey Jones. Okay, Trey, I see you right there. Looks like, uh, looks like Terrence does have back spasms, but he should return later. But we may just go on and keep him out of the game. Don't know why I kept it there, and not a good start for Trey Jones. Yeah, once again, we're just going to keep him out. I don't need him to come back into this game. He already told me what he can do, what he needs to do, and I'm just going to let him rest. We need him for next week, I believe, because that's, yeah, because we play Akon, Akon that game. So, yeah, once again, we tried going to get zone, couldn't get in there. That's just how it goes sometimes. And that, that's just how it goes sometimes. But, here we go, throw it down. Let's, I don't, I don't know, let's just try to get something here. Positive yards. Let's just try to get positive yards. It's not really looking like that. Peter throws the ball. Gets it to West. And no, Terrence. Wait, Terrence, why are you back in the game? Why are you back in the game, Terrence? I told you to sit on the bench. And here we go. Huge point here. Trying to at least put up six on the board. Once again, Terrence decided to come back, even though we don't really want him back in this game. But let's go on, give the ball to Holder, who gets in there, putting down the shoulder, Emmanuel Holder. I see you, Emmanuel Holder, putting down the shoulder. I like that. I like that. But let's try to get into the end zone here, as Peter does some scrambling, gives the ball to Terrence, and gets his three yards closer. Here we go, as the ball is going to go back to Terrence, hopefully that we can at least get into the back of the end zone. And, yep, nope, not going to happen, but we do get a yard closer. And that is all what is going to matter. Here we go, as we are going to try, once again, back with Terrence. Maybe we can get some blocks here. I think if we were going to score a touchdown on the day, it at least deserves to go under this man's name. And yes, it will. Terrence West scoring the first touchdown in school history. Well, at this point, I don't think it was this bad of a game. But I'm saying at this point, we should at least put in our backups. So yes, after this play, we will go on and put in our backups just so we can at least see how they're going to be playing as Y just took himself out of the play, leaving Peter all on his own to get the first down at least. Here we go, as we do have our backups in. 
maybe not the best of ideas that we're down, but we're down by a whole lot that I'm just saying we should at least let other guys come in. So here we go with Trey Jones. Trey Jones breaking two tackles, and look at that. His second one of the game goes way better than his first. Here we go as we do have Brendan in the game. Goes quick underneath to Sandals, who breaks a tackle. Breaks two tackles. There we go. Mac Sandals right there with the catch. Nice 15 yards. There we go. Joe connecting to Mac. That that sounds pretty good right there. Here we go. As he goes right underneath to Pounder, who breaks a tackle. Willie Pounder. Okay, the warning names, learning names. I mean, I kind of know their names. I don't really remember, though. You cut me some slack, at least. Here we go. Under two minutes to go in this game, I'm saying that from the start of this, it wasn't looking too good. But we turned it around. Go on, hit Trey Jones out of the backfield. Trey Jones taking ankles. That man, Trey Jones. Wow. Okay, I understand. Don't need all these. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do a play action pass here. Here we go. Defense wasn't really fooled, but that secondary may have been, and we go deep, and that's gonna be a touchdown. Oh well, a Scott. I see you. Good pass. Good throw. Good catch. I. I don't know what else needs to be said there. Wow, what a throw there by Joe. I I don't know what to say there. That was just a really good throw. And there we go. What another amazing throw to Willie Pounder. Joe got hit, made the amazing pass, and wow. There we go. Joe may be the new starter. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but Joe may... Could very well be our new starter. And right after me saying that, he almost throws an interception. Good grief. Yeah, I think they all know that we're winning this ball. Who cares? Going to hand it off to Trey Jones, who breaks a tackle. Gets seven yards right there. I'm not upset about that. Let's run hoy up. Come on. Hoy up, hoy up. Uh, We'll just go back to the power O. Trey does get the first down. We will call a timeout there. Look at that bald guy. Okay. Here we go. There we go, Joe. Oh, if only Joe could get it over the head of Todd Harris. That could have potentially been his second touchdown of the day. Wow. If that could have went, just, just wow. Here we go. Joe's doing some scrambling. Gets out of bounds. I don't really know why he had free space. At, you know what? I'm going to just let him do what he does. Here we go. Throw it down. Potentially going to be the last time the offense touches the ball in this game. They see the full album blitz in. That's a pick to Todd. <sighs> and Todd... Come on, don't let Todd take it. Okay. You know what? At least we didn't let Todd take it all the way. Uh, but that is what we get for trying him one more time. And that is going to end the game right there. Well, not the best of ways to start the season. I mean, it was a top five team, so I can't really be that all upset about it. Um, Yeah, can't. we can't really be that upset. We We tried. We played our hearts out that game. So that's not really that bad. Uh, next week we do play Akron. That's going to be our first ever divisional match. I believe that may be our first ever division match. I think it's going to be a conference match. I don't know why I said division match. Okay, so in the next video we will be playing the Zips. And I think we may do some more recruiting there. Actually, you know, we might as well just do recruiting now. 
Okay, so looks like we are leading for Marcus, what is good. Um, I'm just really scrolling through. Let's see how Kyle, Kyle, he's still looking. Okay, that's good. We did offer some scholarships t out to some people. Um, Jimmy Smith, okay, we're starting to kind of lose him. So let's go on and uh, put some more points on him. What about Lamar? Lamar, okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer with Lamar Matthews, what is huge. Um, yeah, this is a kid who we really want. Once again, got better what we needed. Um, we're getting closer to maybe getting him to visit us. And, yeah, okay. Allen, I, I don't think we're going to be able to take Allen, though. I don't think that we will be able to take Allen. Yeah, so Allen, uh, uh, we may not be able to take him. Um, Gavin, once again, he is a big key player to us at least. Uh, yeah, playing time, he's not so excited about that. But Ryan Lee, he is a guy who we really want. He did go down and he just went down some more. Not doing the best, but he, he's not doing the best. But that, that that's all, okay? We can always improve on that stuff. Uh, Kiko, <laughs> I just kind of gave up on the Kiko at this point. I mean, he kind of likes it because it is close to home. But, I mean, he's probably going to go to Virginia instead. And I'm not really about to blame him on that. Um, that is his choice. And then for some of these little kids, we just got to really fight. Because I, I know that we'll be able to get him. Uh... Like Antonio, I think even though he's not really doing the best out there, I'm saying that we can maybe help him out. He's going to be a junior, I believe, whenever we get him. Same as Andrew Moss. But Andrew Moss, he's not really looking that bad. Um, He's really not. And I'm saying maybe we can get him here. Maybe we can't. Who knows? Um, going to put some more on him. Nick Matthews, I'm thinking he can potentially be something for us as well. Um, yeah, to add to that, holding back Cole, uh, Anthony, another Juco. Sheesh, we, we target some Jucos. He's, he's not really playing the best. Um, Greg Brown, he, he's really excited to come to us. Uh, I don't know. He, he his playing has been up and down. BJ Hall, he's somebody who he was looking at. Uh, did not mean to give him a scholarship, but we did. Okay, well, you know, he he's good. He deserves one. Um, yeah, but at this point, I'm just trying to use, you know, and I'm offering kids scholarships on accident. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we're offering them scholarships. I mean, it's it's okay. We can. If they come to us, then that's good. If they don't, then okay. Um, yeah, but that is going to end off the scouting kill. And that is going to end the video. So if y'all did enjoy, please like, subscribe. Next video, we all going to be playing Aquin. Um, yeah, so hope you all do enjoy once again. Uh, and I'll see you.